Now, although this video is titled My Hardest Engineering Classes, it's more about which classes I struggled with the most. For those new to this channel, I studied electrical engineering in college, so of course these courses are going to be unique to me. But if you ask one of my classmates which courses they struggled with the most, you're probably going to hear some completely different answers. So just keep that in mind as I go through these. I actually enjoyed some of the more difficult courses I had to take, such as signals or wireless communications, but there were some classes I struggled with that a lot of people loved. The first class I really struggled with was this computer design class, which I swear everyone loved but me. It just really never clicked for me. It was the most in-depth computer hardware class I ever had to take. As you can see here, it's really more of a computer engineering class that electrical engineers also had to take. Other than the lectures, the class was mainly this eight week long project. We had to write a lot of hardware based code, understand RAM versus ROM and how memory worked for a computer, and we really got towards the heart of a microprocessor. This class is where I realized that in-depth computer hardware and assembly language programming and more of that was just not my favorite. There were a lot of aspects to electrical engineering that I really loved, but this was just never one of them. I actually searched through my email and found some old lab reports I didn't think I still had. And yeah, as you can see, it's pretty technical. I really don't remember much of this and definitely do not miss it, but here's an idea for what my lab reports look like. And it looks like this either isn't the entire report or I just said screw it, maybe the teacher won't notice for this one. And then here's another report which I'm not going to go over, but for those who want to pause the video and maybe read through some of the things we also did in this class, here you go. Okay, the next class I struggled with was this one right here called Electromagnetic Fields and Transmission, which might surprise some people who know me personally because this was the first class I took on high frequency systems. For high frequency circuits where the voltage and current alternate very fast, like hundreds of millions to billions of times per second, a lot changes that you have to account for. Now the fact that I struggled with this might surprise some people because I concentrated in RF and wireless communications, which has to deal with high frequency systems. This is the stuff I love the most, but I really struggled with this first class mainly. I think it really had to do with not having a great teacher and also just things not fitting together. Like the class really started with, here's a circuit, when you turn on a voltage, it travels down the cables and then some reflects back and some transmits through. And here are the equations to figure that out. It was kind of out of nowhere, I really didn't understand why it mattered, how to connect it with anything else, which I did find out in later classes, but again, at the beginning, it was really just a dry subject. For all the electrical engineers out there, this is the first class where I learned about the Smith chart. For those who don't know what this is, don't even worry about it, it's just something used in solving high frequency circuits. And it wasn't the hardest thing in the world to learn, but the way it was introduced was not good. The way it was brought up was my teacher talked about it for like a day and then kind of sent us off to do homework. But at the same time, she said it wouldn't be on the midterm, so I really didn't try to learn it in a lot of detail. And then when we got our final exam sheets of all the things we had to learn for the final, it was there and of course in more detail than we had even covered before. So I had to learn it all from scratch basically like a week before the final, which was not really ideal, but that's just how that class went. So it was definitely something I did struggle with at first. Then the last class I struggled with was not an engineering class, but one of my support classes, and that was modern physics. This is basically a quantum physics course that all electrical engineers, computer engineers, and physics majors had to take at my school. Now I did enjoy this class, and I really like physics, but this was the first time I took a physics class where I really didn't understand what was going on exactly. If you've seen my physics major video, this class is all about where particles likely are, how you can't know the position and velocity at the same time, and more of that stuff. Also, I remember the teacher talking about Fourier analysis like we've learned it before, which I think most of the class had, but I definitely did not, because I took it before a lot of other electrical engineers did. I learned this a few quarters later, which I really enjoyed. It's all about how you can represent a function or a signal as a bunch of sine or cosine functions added up. Then you can analyze the frequency spectrum of that function, signal, or whatever. So yeah, I probably should have taken this class a little bit later, but the schedule said I did not have to, so I did have some catching up to do. I was able to pull off an A in the class, but it was more work than I'd ever put into a physics course before. And often while I was doing homework or taking a test, I would know what equations to use or how to set it up, but I wouldn't know exactly why I was doing it. It was definitely different than doing F equals MA or solving for the electric field from some complex object. Now, what I wanted to show from this video is that no matter what you're studying, there might be some classes that you just don't enjoy or that just don't click for you. If that's you, then you are at least not alone because I'm telling you it happened for me as well. So just keep that in mind as you're going through your major. There are going to be parts that you hopefully really enjoy, but there might be some that you really don't, and that's okay. And before I end this video, I just want to give you guys some updates. Since the last in-person video that I did a few months ago, I have moved if you can't tell, that's why there's a totally different setup behind me. 
Uh, before, when I was recording, I was in my own room in a four bedroom house and I had to like move the bed aside if I wanted to record so I could fit the camera and all the lighting. So now I have my own place and I'm really happy to be here instead. Also, I've been a little slower in releasing videos lately because all the ones I've been doing have taken a lot of research and a lot of time to do the editing and writing the script and all that. So I'm going to try to make shorter videos in between those because I don't like waiting two, three, or even four weeks to put out something new. So I do have videos on physics versus engineering. I want to do one on the applications of imaginary numbers and a few others, but those are going to take some time. So I'm going to try to release these shorter ones in between, which is what I'm doing right now. So those are all the updates for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and join the Major Prep Facebook group for updates on everything. And I'll see you all in the next video.